we introduce CapTrack, category level pose tracking for rigid and articulated objects from point clouds. In this work, we track nine degrees of freedom category level poses of rigid objects as well as parts in articulated objects from live point cloud streams. Given a point cloud sequence and a noisy initial pose, the goal is to track the per body nine degrees of freedom poses, namely 3D rotation, 3D translation, and 3D sizes, which can be represented and visualized as 3D and model bounding boxes. Our method is designed to handle novel instances from known categories without CAD models. Let's start by looking at some qualitative results. Here we show comparison between our method and the SOTA category level rigid object pose tracking method. Six pack, red bounding boxes indicate losing track and green ones indicate on track. Our method loses track less often and gives more accurate pose predictions. We also achieve a running speed of 12 frames per second, way faster than six pack, which runs at 3.5 frames per second. For articulated objects, we show qualitative comparison on our Sapien synthetic dataset, where both the camera viewpoint and the object joint state change over time, compared to the SOTA single frame category level articulated object pose estimation method. Action predictions are more accurate, temporally coherent, and robust to occlusions. Our model, trained only on Sapien synthetic dataset, can directly generalize to novel real laptop or scissors trajectories without ever seeing real data during training. It also successfully generalizes to novel real drawers under robotic interaction. Our tracking is done in an online frame-by-frame -frame fashion. At each time step, our framework takes the current point cloud and the pose prediction from the last frame. It then outputs a new pose prediction. This prediction can be fed as the input for the next frame. The problem can then be seen as a single frame pose estimation problem conditioned on an extra pose input. Our devised pose canonicalization module first transforms and canonicalizes the input point clouds. Then the canonicalized point clouds will be pushed through coordinate net for normalized coordinate prediction and rotation net for rotation regression. Combining the outputs of the two networks, we can end-to-end -end differentiably predict the nine degree of freedom poses at frame T plus one. Let's first delve into our pose canonicalization module and see how we leverage the predicted pose from the previous frame. Given the depth point cloud from the current frame and the per part poses from the previous frame, for each part J, we multiply the depth point cloud with the inverse of the previously estimated part pose so that part J gets close to its canonical pose. Now our network takes pose canonicalized point clouds as input and only needs to output a small residual pose closed to identity which means we've simultaneously canonicalized both the input and output, thus significantly simplifying the pose estimation. Based on the pose canonicalized point clouds, there are two mainstream approaches to estimate pose limited in different ways. One common approach is to regress normalized coordinates. Then based on the correspondences, use RANSAC to solve for part poses. This approach captures category level shape prior and works well under challenging conditions. However, the involved ransack step is non-differentiable and time-consuming. Another way is to directly regress per part poses. However, this approach can't regress scale and translation accurately due to ambiguity caused by occlusions. For example, for these pencils, it's hard to directly regress their centers when their two ends are occluded. To take the best of both worlds, our framework combines the two aforementioned approaches by constructing rotation net and coordinate net. Thanks to pose canonicalized point clouds, our rotation net can directly and accurately regress residual rotations, thus being free from using RANSAC. At the same time, our coordinate net predicts part segmentation and normalized coordinates, from which we can analytically compute per part scales and translations with high accuracy. This results in an end-to-end -end differentiable pose tracking pipeline, optimized for accuracy, robustness, and speed. Here we show quantitative results. On Knox Rigid Object Dataset, Compared to single-frame SOTA methods, NOx, CAS, and tracking SOTA method 6-pack, we have a higher mean IOU and a much higher 5 degree 5 centimeter percentage. On our synthetic Sapien articulated object dataset, we also beat the SOTA method ENCH on all categories and metrics. Here we compare our method to several variants. Our results indicate that pose canonicalization is always beneficial and combining together rotation net and coordinate net significantly outperforms using each of them alone. Also, our way to make the pipeline end-to-end -end differentiable performs better than DSAC++. Regarding tracking robustness, on the left, 
we plot 5 degree 5 centimeter accuracy with respect to the amount of initial pose errors. On the right, we plot the accuracy with respect to pose noises added to every frame during tracking. Our method is significantly more robust to noises than six pack. To conclude, in this work, we propose a novel pipeline for category level online nine degrees of freedom pose tracking for both rigid and articulated objects. Our method leverages a pose canonicalization step that enables end-to-end -end differentiable 9 DOF pose prediction, combining coordinate voting and rotation regression. Our method achieves significant improvements compared to the previous state-of-the-art methods on all datasets. For more details, please refer to our paper. Thank you for watching.